everyone, it's Halloween Heartthrob, and today is another Thrifted Fix It. Um, it is a series where I get thrift store items, and then I fix them up to my personal liking. Right now I have this orange dress. I pinned it up so it's actually kind of long, um, and this is just pinned on, so it's basically plain dress, and I added this little strip and this clockwork orange, and these two sleeves because it doesn't fit me well. It's too high on the bust line so I'm going to detach the sleeve. I'm about to show you where I seam rip the sleeves apart because they're still together. They're just uh, separated. So the bust line will sit lower so it'll sit underneath mine because it's up here. And then I think what I'm going to do is detach the skirt up until the zipper which is right here because I don't I'm going to try to make as minimalistic changes as I can and try to regather the skirt. It'll probably be hard, and if you do this yourself, it's probably best to just take it off the zipper, which I might have to do. And I really don't want to do that because I don't like attaching things to the zipper. But I'm going to try to detach it this way, so all I have to do is gather it from here and gather it from here separately so I can combine them again in here which means I'll probably have to undo from here down to here. So then I can gather them separately, try it on again, and see if that's good. And I might also change the length too. I was thinking about having a little waistband because I like this, the, the stripes here, but I don't know if I like the stripes there. Dab it. So this dress sleeves are about two inches and I have these pieces so I want to make sure that the stripes are going horizontal instead of vertical because I think that looks the best and it's most reminiscent of clockwork orange so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these and make sure that they match up so I'm going to have a little bit of a seam allowance because I kind of guesstimated when I cut it, cut it, cut these pieces. So I'm going to do that to both and then I'm going to sew them using some black thread. Sorry, my cat's getting into stuff. Don't, don't eat that. Kids, man. <laughs> so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to attach them like this. It'll be all together because I'll have to turn them inside out and then I'll attach them uh, to each side. Okay, so I've sewn the two together, and now I'm going to turn them inside out. And there we go. And the stripes match up pretty well. You don't necessarily need that, but it just looks better. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to iron them really quick so they can stay flat instead of being like a bouncy worm. I'm going to do that for both, trying to keep the seam on the outside as best as I can so it'll stay nice and flat and what I'm gonna do is I'm probably going to have each seam facing inwards when I sew them so they're gonna sit like this so this is the seam on each side. It, I guess it doesn't necessarily matter but it's just kinda like the small things that you pay attention to that overall make your garment look better. Okay so now that I've ironed them, look they look all nice and crisp now there we go. And I pinned it this way so when I sew that way it's easy to take out. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other one as well. And I'm going to take a straight stitch and stitch them down and do it, do the same to the other one. So right side to right side. So I'll be back when that's done. All right. So I have it on now and it looks a lot better with the straps. Now I have it pinned up here because the dress is rather long so I'm thinking about this length right there so it's just above my knee because I think it kind of sits a little bit awkward and too like it's there's too much happening and the next thing I'm going to do is I think I only need to take it in a little bit, but I don't know if I want to add um, the middle piece. So I asked my friend and she said that 
going this way looks better than going this way. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hem the skirt and then I'm going to detach it and then um, add the make, then I'm going to make the waistband. So I need to figure out how big I want it and what, how much material I need to make sure that all of these stripes are vertical or vertical instead of horizontal. So unfortunately I'm going to have to take it off the zipper which is not even in this side. So I'm gonna have to remove the zipper, at least from the bottom down. So I don't have to completely take it off. All right, I'm gonna go do that. Actually, I'll take off the skirt first and then I'll fix it. So let's go. Now what I'm doing is I'm pinning along the lines and how I'm doing that is I figured out how short I wanted to cut it and it's about nine inches up, so I take my ruler, have it to the bottom, and then about nine inches, I take a pin and pin it. There we go. So then that way, I can just go ahead and cut it without having to awkwardly fold it in half or do anything weird. So this way I can just do a straight line through the cuts. And then I'll have to continue all the way until I reach the end. And then after that, I'm going to cut probably a half an inch lower um, just to give myself enough room to fold it inwards and make the hem all nice and pretty. Okay, now that I've evenly trimmed the dress, the bottom of the dress, I'm going to go ahead and start folding over the pieces and then pinning them down. And then I'm going to... Uh, sew them down and I think I'm going to continue to use a black stitch just as uh, a decoration as well as practicality so I'm going to pin that and I'll be back when I'm done. Separated the top from the bottom. Finished. I finished hemming it so now it has a little black stitch line. That's what it looks on the back. So now it's a lot shorter than it was. <laughs> so now what I need to focus on is the waistband. So that's about a two inch waistband. So that's pretty normal. Now when you make your waistband, you'll want to make it four inches wide so you can fold it in half and then have some nice edges. So now I'm going to go ahead and eh, cut my fabric. So now that I've made the waistband, I added about an inch and a half extra so I'm able to fold it in and attach it to the zipper and it'll give me a little leeway so just in case if I accidentally move it slightly then I'll have the uh, half an inch to mess with. So now that that's made and ironed, I'm going to go ahead and gather with a um, gathering stitch which is like super long length apart um, and just do a straight line across the top and gather it to my waist measurement then after I gather it I'll sew on my waistband and then I'll sew the waistband and skirt to the top and then we should be done okay so now I have the skirt all almost all done because now I just need to attach it to the zipper and to the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to the top and then I'm going to attach it to the zipper and then I'm going to sew up this side here. Okay, so as I was adding the skirt to the top, I realized that I had shrunk the waist and I realized there's a whole bunch of these little darts and instead of meticulously going through and making each of them smaller, I took apart the side. So I did the front half, and now I'm going to add the uh, back half, and then I will take out the measurement from the uh, side. So, and then I'm going to try it on again to see if that affected my armpit space, because I don't like my armpits to be squeezed by stuff. Also, um, something that I noticed uh, that you'll probably have to pay attention to that some garments have is they have this their uh, the waistband or the skirt sandwiched in between so I had to kind of sandwich it in between 
each layer. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that with all the orange. Um, the, so that way it's nicely covered and it has a nice seam line throughout. Um, unlike this, how it's like all open. Uh, so I'm going to do that and technically I would take the time and measure it, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Uh, so do it the way you want. Okay, so I've attached, reattached the zipper, um, and now I'm going to finish up closing the back, or the side, I should say, and then we're all done. So let me finish that, and then I'll show you the finished look. And there we go. I absolutely love this now. I think the only things that I really kind of messed up on or could do better with is because I took in the side, now I think I took it in a little bit too much, so this uh, shoulder strap is a little bit tight, or uh, is loose, and because this side is a little bit tighter, this side is not as tight. So I already trimmed it, um, so what I think I might do uh, is I might take this in a little bit at the zipper, or I might just say forget it and just fix this, which I can do that by sewing this just a little bit more. So then probably up another, so it'll look the same. <laughs> And there we go, that's the finished dress. Um, later on, I think I will color in the uh, Clockwork Orange symbol uh, a little bit better, so then it won't be so, like, washed looking. Um, thank you so much for watching. All of my links and all that will be down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Comments are always welcome. And do you guys like these sewing videos? Is this okay? And I will see you in another video. Bye!